Well, most of the kids who walk these inner city streets will at some point in their lives be approached to join a gang, but not if the authors of a new report have their way. It's very clear that there's a, a gang problem here in Winnipeg. Dr. Carolyn Snyder should know. The emergency room physician sees many kids on the front lines, injured and desperate to leave gangs behind. As a physician, I grew up thinking I can try and fix things, and, and I've learned the hard way that we can do our best in this situation, and we're trying our best, and I try to work with my many wonderful community colleagues to try and do our best for this youth. The hardest part is the lack of coordinated response, and that's what's really needed. And that's exactly what this report hopes to set in motion. Why do you think people join gangs? In compiling its research, the Gang Action Interagency Network spoke with community leaders, outreach groups, law enforcement, and 46 gang-affected kids. The report identifies three main things kids at risk of gang involvement need. A sense of identity and belonging, healing, and stable programs. No one wakes up one day when they're 13 years old and says, gee, I'm going to join a gang, it's Tuesday at 4 o'clock. It doesn't happen like that. Floyd Weeb counsels parents whose kids have fallen in with gangs. He says there just aren't enough resources for kids when they need them. When we were doing the research for the video, they interviewed a 12-year-old kid. And he said that the gang was chasing him. And he was running down the street to the community center, and the community center was closed. What's needed now? Funding. And not just for things like 24-hour safe houses. The Gang Action Network needs to hire dedicated staff to put their plan in motion. The problem is if we don't get funding is we're going to have more kids ending up dead or in jail. And I don't want that. None of us want that. They're hoping someone pays for their plan before more kids pay the price. Katie Nicholson, CBC News, Winnipeg.